and Ivata Nero is a great icon with a good heart. His generosity is second to none and his capacity is a weight that can be pulled down. His love for his people is massive and on his mandate are great works to show for. On the 2nd January 2024, the Masi Obasi Lawson Foundation, which grants scholarships to the less privileged in the community, was launched. According to Barrister Mrs. Adamma Obasi Lawson, Madia Ugodia Roma, in her extensive and detailed interview on the foundation, cited that the foundation established by her darling husband overseas scholarship awarded to junior secondary, senior secondary, and tertiary institution, numbering about 100 plus thousand students from all parts of our Chuku Kingdom. Yes, my name is uh, Barista Mrs. Adamma Obase Lawson. Madie Godi Aroma. Yes, like we can see from the background, those are foundation, scholarship foundation of my darling husband, Chief Obasi Lawson, Atomaro, Uguaro, Omeziraro, Ivatani. Today, we launched the foundation. He has been able to give scholarship to pupils in the secondary school, junior secondary, senior secondary, and tertiary institutions, numbering about close to 100 and something thousand students. No, it's for Arochuku community, Arochuku kingdom. It's cut across not only Atani, Amovi, Amokwa, the entire villages, Arochuku as a whole. It's cut across Arochuku as a whole. All right. Now, uh, people who are, so people who are students, because we actually came across uh, a student who happened you know, not to be from Arochuku, somewhere from the uh, West. Okay, maybe because of the selection, probably the person has been nationalized into being an Arochuku person, you know. If not, I know that uh, we want to give to where we came from, you know, Arochuku. We came to make sure that some students who are in school and uh, who may not have the ability or their parents, their guardians, may not have what it takes to make them proceed. So the Obasilasen Foundation, Scholarship Foundation is here to pick them at interval to make sure that we help them to achieve their dreams by paying their school fees, buying textbooks, buying exercise books, a whole lot what it takes to see them through. Yeah, God has always asked us to give. I'm very happy today. I'm delighted that this dream has come true because uh, my husband, Chief of Basilosin, has always been a giver. He has passion for education. He has always wanted to, you know, he feels happy when people go to school and he likes seeing the young grow. He has been, uh, he has been giving helping hands. So today, one of his dreams, which is seeing children students progress and go to school, particularly those that would have dropped or those that don't have anybody to stand by them. Today he has taken off his uh, scholarship program to train students. So it's one of the things we are very happy as a family. My children, both the ones who are abroad, they are all part of this, you know, from Kemnato, Chisom, Chizara, Adaku, Uzaku, Chioma, Chinagorom, Abuneme, Michael, Lost in Ihechere. Some of them are not here, they're outside the country, but in one voice and in one support, we told Daddy, Daddy, go, we can do it. So, and we're happy today that we did it. Our joy knows no bounds. Yeah, yeah, his drive is that of, um, you know, uh, coming from his background, 
he lost his parents, his, his father, early enough. Even his mom too, you know, they married and uh, he didn't have that kind of support. So something that he didn't have and he was able to get to where he is today, which is only grace. Grace spoke, God intervened. So being a product of grace and a, a product of the miracle of God, he now told himself he will invest in human beings, human investment, training, education, because something that uh, he didn't have opportunity, you know, that early time in life. So he's, he's, he's not very, you know, compassionate. He's very kind to see children who are maybe battling to go to school. He will lifting them up. It's part of the, you know, the background or what has formed him to do this. It's a kind of God made it possible for me, you know, to be where I am today. So how do I give back to the society? How do I do what God wants? How do I tell God I'm grateful? It is for me to look at people who don't really have, who would have been less privileged, you know, who don't have had opportunities to go to school. Let me pick them and encourage them to go to school. That is his passion, you know. That was what he told me, yes. Thank you. Yeah, like I earlier told them, they should work hard. They should make sure that they, they, they do well. And they also have it at the back of their mind that they are product of grace. They should lift people. You know, we wouldn't want a situation where they are not, we don't have any room for failures. You have to be excellent. You have to do well. You must, as a matter of fact, get great. You have to be great from this because... This achievement is meant to establish human beings, build up personalities. You know, people who can be governors, ministers, commissioners, great men. That is the target of this foundation. So what I'm telling them is, at any point when they have achieved this, they should not fail to give back again. Like the circle, let them, re, you know, recall the recycle it. Because that is the, what brought them out. And so they should be able to do that. So that's my, my advice to them today. Like I said, the target is to get intelligent children who wouldn't have been ordinarily be able to go to school, who ordinarily wouldn't have been able to further their education, like those in primary who may not you know, go to secondary school, those in secondary school may not be able to go to university. So we are targeting them from junior secondary, must move to senior secondary. So long as you are intelligent enough, the scholarship is strictly for students who are in school and cannot afford to finish up. Those willing to go to school whose guardians cannot afford the tuition fee. The scholarship provides education at its highest peak to these individuals by making available to every beneficiary all necessary tools to meet and finish up their studies. <laughs> The collection of the books has a high need. I have 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 a high need. I have
do so before I um, give the awardees um, the award the, the, the material. My father is indeed a law of education, as uh, my dear, my mom has said. He's someone that grew from nothing, and uh, this is just his way of giving back to his community. Amongst other things, he believes in. I will tell you, education is number one for him. As she rightly said, if you want to be his best friend, love and love education. He loves those that take the opportunity to enhance themselves. He's a believer that no matter where you come from, no matter your social economic conditions, you can move to another level if you have the right education. And because they couldn't get it at an early age, they saw the need to always give back. I'll say a personal story. When I was in secondary school, when I was in secondary school, I remember in our class, the students that come out on top of the class, my dad made it a tradition to always buy their textbooks. Regardless of if the storm was amongst them or not, he took it upon himself, all to be able to encourage people to get the right education. And uh, let me use this opportunity to say that Arochuku in years past has been known for a strong educational background. Albany Koku, SG Koku, Wakamoko, so many prominent people that have come out from Arochuku reached the pinnacle of their businesses, their profession, because of education. Unfortunately, as we all know, it's no more the same way. Arochuku has lost track a little bit. We see a lot of teenage pregnancies, we see a lot of vices and youth unemployed and being out of school. So if this will cause the renaissance, which is what is good, to reignite the law for education, then I think to achieve the objective that this foundation was made for. And it's just for us to bring us together and support this initiative. If the students keep doing well in school, I'm sure the founder and the, the foundation will be more than happy to continue to invest in the lives of our people. Thank you very much. Thank you for the the foundation. I hereby offer you with this writing material for your education. In addition to other benefits that we afforded. Those are your textbooks, yeah? You know all the subjects in there, Just that. Okay. Mistake Faith Amarachi, on behalf of the Party Lawson Foundation, I hereby uh, present you with these right two materials and textbook for your education. On behalf of the Basilosi Foundation, I hereby present you with these books and the exercise books and textbooks for your education. Innocent Miracle Miss Innocent. Miracle Amarachi, on behalf of Obas Lawson Foundation, I hereby present you with these books and textbooks for your education. Congratulations. Ms. Samuel Messi, on behalf of Obas Lawson Foundation, I hereby present you with these textbooks and writing materials for your education. Congratulations. Ms. Waka Anwame, on behalf of Obas Lawson Foundation, I hereby present you with these textbooks and writing materials for your education. Congratulations. Ben Mr. Chidema, on behalf of our personal foundation, I hereby present you with these textbooks and writing materials for you. On behalf of our personal foundation, I hereby present you with textbooks and writing materials for education. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you.
Benjamin Okoro Tedechi, on behalf of the Abbasilaw Saints Foundation, I present this check to you. Ibere Sante Christian, on behalf of the Abbasilaw Saints Foundation, I present this check to you. And these writing materials. Congratulations, Mosby. From his Chimobi Chairman. On behalf of Baba Slossens Foundation, I present this check to you. Congratulations. And these writing materials. Congratulations. I'm standing here to thank Officer Lawson and his honorable uh, wife for this scholarship. I say that I will not let her down and his husband. I will study her to make them proud. In Jesus name. My name is Tina Chibike Gospa from Comprehensive Secondary School. Yes, the senior prefect of Comprehensive Secondary School. I want to thank the President Tenara of Musuka Worldwide, the, our benefactor, our benefactor, the Mazi of Asilos, his amiable wife, the family, the organizers of Abasi Scholarships, the members of our sure. I, on behalf of the senior students, we say very big thank you to the Abbasi Scholarship Foundation. We are really grateful for this great opportunity. And we are promising that we shall never let him down. We will study that to make sure that we reach the higher level to the expectations of our parents, even beyond the expectations. So, God shall reward you according to his riches you could. May all your heart desires be granted. We shall live long enough also to live the fruit of the labor. This I pray in Jesus' name. My name is Kalisi Shimei Mbezi George, and I'm a medical student at the University of Port On behalf of the tertiary beneficiaries for the scholarship, um, I'm going to thank the foundation and the people in charge of the, and the sponsors of the scholarship. Um, we are thanking them incredibly grateful for being recipients of the scholarship scheme. So we, we, are, we are telling them that the, the support their support is not just a financial aid to us, it's also a source of our motivation towards our educational journey and academic career. So thank you so much. Thank you for investing in us. Thank you for, us. Thank you for your believing in us towards our academic goals. Thank you so much, you all. Thank you. Expressing her gratitude alongside other attendees including one of the daughters who described her father as an education enthusiast and glad to have one of his two many dreams of giving back to his society come to fruition. Okay, so the event is just like a foundation. It's for, sorry, it's a scholarship program and it's the inauguration of the Obasilose Foundation. So we paid um, some students who um, students in junior secondary, senior secondary and uh, university and they bought them textbooks and other things to help them um, go through school. So it's basically a foundation for school, for education, and to fund their courses. So um, it's just to ensure that um, kids get the education that they require. The, um, and then if they, like, if they don't have the money for it, then 
How do you feel being part of this victory? Yeah, I'm, I'm very, very honored. I'm very, very excited. My father is obviously very, very passionate about education. So I'm very excited to be here and I'm very, I'm very, very grateful that God has given us the ability to provide for others. So it's a privilege to be here and to witness this. It's a very, very big event and something that is it's very, very special. And my father takes it very, very special to his all right. And what about you? Do you take it special to your heart? Yes, of course. I mean, I'm a lawyer, so oh, I'm wearing a lot in my life. So education is a priority for me. I plan on going for my master's very soon, and then hopefully I also do my PhD. So obviously, it wants to be family, and I learn to be my father. He's always there to support, advise, and tell you you have to do this, you have to read, your book comes first, nothing else. So education should, should be a priority for every child for any life. What's your advice to these beneficiaries? Sorry? Your advice to the yes, beneficiaries? My advice is that they should make sure, endeavor that they use this opportunity wisely. They should study hard in school so that the scholarship will not just be for nothing. They should ensure that they if they are able to read, read and pass their exams, that's like the most important thing right now. And they should be grateful and thank you for what because it's what I mean for them to get this class today. Thank you very much for your time. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, my name is Adama Zim. Okay. Um, what do you have to say about today's event? Uh, well, I'm so excited about today, as you all know, today is the um, uh, opening of the foundation, Marcel Rossi Foundation, where he awarded a scholarship to uh, the junior, where he awarded scholarship to the junior uh, secondary school, the senior secondary schools, and the tertiary um, students. So I'm really excited for that. I'm so happy. I think the children will get an opportunity, you know, to study to the highest, you know, level of education as much as they can. And um, they will get limited by the inability of their parents to cater for them, or pay their school fees, or you know, they will be able to be what they can be. Yeah. Okay. Um... Aside from this uh, scholarship uh, that um, Mazi Obasi Lawson has given, to, you know, has been given to the society, the community, Arochuku, are there other things he's been doing for Arochuku for the development of Arochuku? Yes, a lot, a lot. My uh, chief Obasi Lawson, my client, he has been doing so much for the community. He has always been a philanthropist, ready to help. Ready to, to share love to people around. Yeah. He has also um, done the world's world. He has, he has put street lights for the community. He has been doing a whole lot. Even did, like this is just official, you get. But before he has been doing all these things, way before now. Wonderful. What are your prayers to him? Well, I just pray that God blesses him. And most importantly, that he continues to live a very long life in good health so that he will also be able to reap the fruits of his labor. Amen. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm scholarship to my how do you feel being part of this project? Um, so happy. You know, one of the greatest needs of man is how to defeat his environment. And the only thing man has devised to do that is to make this one. See, and uh, anybody did just tell him to make this one. And I like this one. You know, I know them. When I see the men like us who are willing to help train the young 
I feel happy. That's why when you ask me, I am very humble. I gave you the template. I was doing the thing. I'm very humble, man. So we accepted the template. And then, so we are here today to do the inauguration. Okay, and you can see what secondary, senior, junior, tertiary institutions are being taken care of. And I said, it's not just, it's not doing it for anything. Why are you not doing it? The normal problem, I mean, this problem will drop out narrow. You know, drop out from secondary schools. Most of our boys cannot finish. And they are not finishing because of money, you know. So he decided to step in. So that even up to equal exam fee, I'm not sure that much. You can see today when you have test books. Most people, uh, many of them have the test books before. Today, yes, complete test books for all the subjects are in. Yes, test books for all the other. So that is really surprising. I'm so happy to be involved in such a, a scheme. I want to thank you so much. Amen. All right, sir. Is this really the first time that uh, uh, this, you know, is this the first? No, well. Uh, or has this been going on? It's not the first. He's been training people in the, he's been training people in the university, the second year, he hasn't done this. It's for now. The only thing is that like, we brought this template together. They brought me in to drink a template so that all guys who are here. And then they make me a man. They are little neighbor. They come as a man. Like it was. So he has extended his hand. You know? I don't know my name. I don't know my name. And he wasn't even involved. He just asked us to speak. And we picked all this before. And he's sweet. Only he's doing this. And he intends to continue. That's why it's a foundation. Thank you so much for your time, sir. We really appreciate you. Honestly, it's a beautiful thing. It's a great thing in this community, in Arutuku Kingdom. We are so grateful and, and happy to have, and to have a person like Sobaz. We thank God for him and his family. Wonderful. Yes. Um, um, Madam, what do you have to say? What's your prayer? Very, very amazing. So Baz and his family yes, so. has been trailing, the, trailing me and they're making everybody happy in Arochuku. So Baz is just a household name. So Baz is a man with a large heart. So Baz is a, is a, is a philanthropist. So Baz has empowered many youths. So Baz is painting our red with goodies. So Baz, I don't know what I will say about So Baz. So Baz has done a lot in Arochuku. So I am just praying that God, in his infinite mercy, we keep on providing for him and his family and his generation. I pray that God will actually protect him from the eyes of the wicked one so that he will keep on doing the good things. For me, I said the, the, the poor is breeding in Arochuku. We thank God for somebody like Sobaz in Arochuku and his amiable wife, Mmadie Arokibo. They will add them as a TV. Madam, what's your, what do you have to say and what's your uh, advice to the beneficiaries of today's um, uh, uh, event, which is uh, scholarship? I really, really thank God for Sobaz and his family. Uh, there's this adage that says, behind every successful man, there is a woman. I thank Sobaz, I thank the wife for being there with her husband in doing all these things. May the Lord bless them. To the beneficiaries, uh, I say may the Lord give them that zeal to study, give them strength, give them life, and also make them to become somebody through this scholarship in Jesus' name. The foundation is a reality of Mars's dream while growing. As a child who didn't get much support from family due to early loss of parents, triggered in him the zeal to push, and at the end, it was a success. He vowed to help every child become a success story, just like himself. The praises and appreciation from beneficiaries and attenders is nothing but a demonstration of joy and excitement. Mazi has taught us that it is up to us to either make or mar our society. However, just like him and his family, we will make the society a better place. After then, I say thank you. And then I say thank you.
thank you. Nigeria na say thank you. Imela, Imela, jide kiji, imye kiji dema. Ato kujo uhora na konde na magibe de office no. Office no se foundation is a big outfit, but temporarily we have our office situated at Oro inside Sobas Police Station. At any point in time, all your blood will go. If I move money there, please, parent, go with your word. Go and claim what belongs to you. You've been shortlisted, and if I go again, I want to need to know the brochure. I got one at ATA. I got one at AIT. If I go, I hope I want to CNN. So, all the ladies is that the Barcelona Foundation in Nilegi. I'm Kalis to stream your message, George. Yes. Tell us about what happened. Okay. Um, this, what's happening here is the scholarship scheme, the scholarship uh, sponsored by the Obasilosi Foundation. Uh, so we had to write exams and we wrote fast and therefore we awarded the scholarship. Yeah, so that's why they are doing an inaugural ceremony here now. Are you one of the beneficiaries of the scholarship? Yes, as I can see, this is my, this is my gift and the check also inside. So I am one of the beneficiaries, though one of them. Uh, I feel incredibly grateful, incredibly happy, and because yeah, the the scholarship is actually a help to us. So I feel very happy, very grateful to the sponsors of the scholarship. Yeah. So what's your uh, what's your message to uh, the man behind this? Yeah. Yeah, God should actually bless them for actually for their philanthropic intentions towards their their roots. So God should bless them, reward them for everything they have done. The scholarship is actually a blessing to us, and it has also be a blessing to them as well. Okay, um, I'm in the 200 level. I'm, I'm studying in, in University of Port Harcourt. I'm Kalisi Shimei Mr. George. I'm from Amasi Village, Charity. Yes, yes. Uh, my name is Okoro Jose Achimere from Michael Opa University of Agriculture. Is it? Yes, sir. I'm from Uguava Village, Charity. Uguava Village, Charity. Now, what's happening? We. We came to be inaugurated as um, a beneficiary of um, Lawson Foundation a scholarship scheme. I'm very excited, I must say, because um, I'm one of the beneficiaries. And my promise to the foundation is that um, as they helped the less privileged and by God's grace, I promise that we will not let them down. We will try our best not to make their efforts in us to be a waste. Yeah. Thank you, sir. My name is Samuel Fendola Messi. Actually, we are having scholarship award, uh, scholarship inauguration award under Obasi Lossi Foundation. I'm so excited because I don't expect it to come. And I thank God for enabling me to be among the beneficiaries. And I pray that God will help and uphold, the, uh, will uphold all the members of this organization. I promise to study other and come out with the flying color in my work. And also promise them that when I come, when I grow up, I will be less people the way that I will I'm not from Abia State, I'm from Obu State. Obu State. Yes, I came to Arrow 2020. No, I'm staying with my uncle. Yes, sir.
I'm so excited because I was not expecting the opportunity. But the fact is, I'm not from, especially not from Igbo, and also I'm not from the tribes. So I'm so excited for the, the privilege and the opportunity given to me. Help the less privilege because even the Bible says that if you give, like, give and it shall be given unto you. So I would advise them that they should help the less privilege so that when they're grown up, they'll be able to build up the community. Not that they will be raising up um, terrorists and rapists and in their community. So that it's to help students to study other when they see that there's opportunity for them to make them to study other. And it will encourage it will encourage the citizens, like it will encourage the community and it will develop the community as well. Sir? Thank you, sir. My name is Nwosu Precious. I'm from Arochiku, Atani Villa to be precise. And the event of today was the Obasi Lawson's Foundation Scholarship Scheme Award. And by God's grace, I was privileged to be one of the beneficiaries. And I want to appreciate everyone who made this event possible today. And we also thank God for giving, for giving them this leading in their hearts to have them to come into the village here to consider students and then look for a way to, you know, a kind of assist them in their academics. And we pray that God will continue to uplift them for this wonderful thing that they have done in our lives in the name of Jesus. And we also have promised that we are not going to disappoint them in any way, that we are going to, um, that we are going to, you know, I'm short of words. In fact, the happiness is just too much. <laughs> Now, um, uh, uh, what do you have to say to, uh, uh, concerning, um, or, or rather, sorry, I mean, what level are you in the school, the name of the school and your level? Okay, the name of my school is Comprehensive Secondary School, I'm moving, and I'm an SS3 student of Comprehensive Secondary School. I'm a science student, and precisely I'm doing medical sciences. Um, they were, we are giving textbooks, science textbooks, and also exercise books, and also item seven, food. <laughs> uh, I don't really know, but I think there is. <laughs> It is one thing for God to want to use you, and another thing for you to allow God to use you. God only uses a man who makes himself available. Not to not see. No doubt, make himself available. And God has decided to use you. I don't like it when says, you don't want to have a doubt. The little guy wants to not see the Lord to be with us. But then the only difference is the fact that he has decided to allow God to use him. He has decided to despise the persons which God has given you to bless mankind. And I want to make this point it out that now, um, when you become a blessing unto man, God will turn you into a blessing. There's something God told uh, Abraham. Abraham says, I will bless those who bless you. And those who bless you, I will bless them. That you will become a blessing, not just a source of blessing. Because of what man said to man in Sweet Edena, he has become a blessing unto mankind. And I want to appreciate God for him. I want to thank him immensely for what he has done. My prayer is that the Lord will keep me for so, so, so many years to come, so I can continue to bless mankind. I pray that God will continue to give me good health, and the Lord will continue to sustain you. So that at the end of the day, we will continue to enjoy you and thank God for him. I want to also implore the beneficiaries of today's scholarship scheme, our children. I thank God for the three who stood. They made a promise. They said they will not disappoint you. They will not disappoint God. They will not disappoint the society. 
My prayer is that they will continue to be wonderful children. Who by by tomorrow when we look back and remember today, will bless God for today. On Wednesday we will tell you the two of the results and who could not make it. I know there is another that is here tomorrow. Um, by the special grace of God, we believe God that they will become beneficiaries sometime in the future. Right, Ma, so the parents now, what has been their their reactions? What's their reactions like? Yeah, I think a lot of them we are filled out. They are all filled with joy. They are happy. I saw them crying, tears of joy. As you know, I see them hugging, blessing, prayers, praying for the founder of this uh, scholarship foundation. They are very happy. They are. I. I, I I see it. I saw it in their faces that they are very, very happy. How do you feel seeing them being happy like that? Yeah, I feel good, you know. Like um, some people have been made happy. You know, there's this internal joy you feel when you make people happy. When you make people achieve what ordinarily they have problems achieving, you have joy. There is joy in giving. There is actually joy in giving. All right. What's your final message today? Yeah, my, uh, you know about today's event. What's your final message? No, my my message is at any point in time, give a helping hand. Whichever way you can do that, lift. You know, give give back to the society. Try and help, no matter how little. Put smiles in people's faces. It has its own blessings. And I know that the Almighty God, who loves us to give, or who have always taught us to give, who bless my husband, Chief of Asilose, and family, myself, God will help us to continue to do this. From batches to batches, we continue to increase the numbers. God will help us and give us long life and all it takes to do it in Jesus' name. Amen. We hope you're inspired by that act of giving and it's triggered to start changing lives around you. This content is brought to you by Adamazi TV. If you're watching us for the first time, please subscribe, comment, like, and share. Adamazi TV is also on other social media platforms, all at Adamazi TV. Do well to follow as we bring away premium content across African society. Stay tuned. Thank you so much. Thank you.